Greetings to all. My name is Kyle Prater. My reason for coming to you today is to present my persuasive argument on the topic of USC's football practice and sideline policy, and how I feel the practices should be opened back up to public, which involves fans, media, celebrities, local community kids, and lastly, NFL scouts. Back in the summer of 2010, the NCAA cracked down on student athletes who have had improper contact with sports agents and it hit full force in June when USC received its harsh NCAA penalties, naming a two year bowl ban and a 30 scholarship reduction over three years because of Heisman winning running back Reggie Bush accepted $300,000 in cash and gifts from fledging sports marketers. The main two policies that were given are the football practice policy and the football sideline policy. The first policy involves the football team practice shall be strictly limited to men's football student athletes and coaching staff, necessary athletic department personnel, and guests pre-approved by the vice president or associate vice president of athletic compliance. The second policy, which is the football sideline policy, which involves the games on weekends, access to the football sidelines at home and away football games shall be strictly limited to authorize pre-approved guests. But the main concern here is, is opening back up USC's football practices, which have in recent years been open, back when Coach Carroll was here. Last year was USC's head coach, Lane Kiffin's first year. And USC's Lane Kiffin first year was basically, you know, hit with everything with the bowls, bowl bans and sanctions and scholarship reductions. And also the practice policies, which we can't have practice anymore, we're allowing fans and everybody else that will always want to support us. But the main concern is fan support, NFL scouts, and the added motivation in practices. Number one, fan support that we used to have in practice. Some of the fans cannot see their favorite, pra their favorite players in practice anymore. All the time you can succumb time, sometimes see your favorite player that you couldn't see all weekends up close. Number two is the added motivation. The added motivation in practices you always find players playing in front of playing in front of a lot of people in practices, so they get in the games, which is usually in front of ninety thousand people. Uh, what I feel is the most you know concern you know issue right now is the NFL scouts for the seniors, which involves evaluation of the seniors that are possible prospects if regulated pro properly. What I have here is a quote from Coach Kiffin that that was stated last year when he first came in. There are a lot of things that we can do and can't do here because we are different than everybody else with all the rules with the NCAA and the practices, said Kiffin. I would really try not to kick them NFL scouts out because this is extremely valuable for them and our players. I wouldn't want to take that exposure opportunity away from our players. I think that our guys practice at a high level, and I would like for scouts to see that because it helps their draft status, as you can see by over the last three years, 27 players were drafted here. Kiffin said that the transition to the new athletic director, Pat Hayden, which was he was hired last year, and director J.K. McKay has delayed the creation of a formal policy with regards to which pro scouts, if any, would be allowed access and whether there would be any restrictions to their access. But the main concern here is, lastly, I hope I brought awareness to this situation that we, the current football team, did not have any issues back then and didn't have anything to do with the Reggie Bush violation. And I feel that I've opened you guys' eyes up to it and awareness.